This iconic newspaper building, home to over 1,700 people at its peak, closed, empty for two years and facing demolition. Saved and relaunched by Burlington Estates, the vision to build a vibrant business hub for the future. We wanted to really mark the occasion. So we wanted to make it very memorable for everybody and hopefully people go away and think that was a genuinely special event in a genuinely special building with some genuinely special people. I think what was most uh, exciting was Sir Nicholas Grimshaw coming back to the building. He's, he's, he's a truly world-renowned architect. His passion, energy and genuine support for our endeavours was you know, heartwarming and uh, he's offered his full support to us going forward whatever help we want and it made me even more determined to give this building a long and enduring future. Everyone with a, quite a big radius of here can feel uh, some sense of um, it being theirs and I, I really like that idea and okay I'm getting on a bit now and I haven't got my t-shirt on which used to say do it with an architect <laughs> uh, uh, when I was in, probably in the 60s, that was. Um, and I've done quite a few buildings since. But I'm very, very fond of this building. And I do hope that it will have a great future. So thank you, everyone who's here. Thank everyone who's supported the building. And I hope, hope it's got a, a, a long life in front of it. The ultimate vision for the ship the spirit of enterprise, is to have a thriving enterprise community, potentially about to a thousand people here, who are proud to call this iconic building their business home and enjoy this wonderful space and surrounding for years to come. Well, I'm really delighted to see the building humming again and the future is pretty bright for getting all kinds of different uses in here. Uh, uh, and, and using the building all over again for something new. It's really nice uh, to come here and see people so enthusiastic about the building as a building, uh, as something that can be really used for the community. Yeah, it's been a cracking event so far. Um, it's been fantastic, my first visit to the ship. Um, it's a great acquisition for Thrive and Burlington Estates to have a building of such quality. Um, it amazes me how it was has been empty for so long but it's great to know that it's going to now become a centre of business in Plymouth and um, moving forward I can't wait to come back in a few months time and see it full and buzzing with people. When I first saw the building I was I was quite awestruck by it because when you come into it it's, you can't really see it and then it just opens up the views and um, certainly sort of standing in the prow of, of the ship and looking at the whole building I mean, it's just it's quite incredible actually I think it's a it's a brilliant brilliant piece of architecture and I'm really excited by it so very excited to be working on it definitely. Right President of the Chamber of Commerce uh, wearing hat say thank you Mark uh, we, the business community, would like to say thank you. Thank you for your confidence in our city at this time to make this building, which was symbolic when it was opened, and I was here on the opening night, uh, have a new life. I think it's been a fantastic evening. I mean, it's really exciting. It's been so brilliant to have Sir Nicholas Grimshaw here as well, obviously, and then key figures from Plymouth and the owners and all of the consultants, not just ourselves, who've been involved in it. It's been a real celebration of this building and the fact that it has been saved and it has been rescued um, and that it has got a new life and everybody is so positive about it and enthusiastic. One of the most exciting things about this building is its potential as an enterprise hub and that's why we renamed it the, the ship, the spirit of enterprise, because we feel it can become an inspirational space for small businesses to operate in. The beautiful, um, light, open plan spaces, you know, the views of the valley, the gym, the you know, on-site 400 person parking. So we, we believe that this is one of the most perfect places to launch an enterprise hub. So that's very exciting for the building. It's kind of been delivered on a plate from the Sir Nicholas Grimshaw, this beautiful building. So. It's our, it's our job to continue its life. Well, I'm really delighted to see the building humming again and the future is pretty bright for getting all kinds of different uses in here.
and using the building all over again for something new. We need to give this building the respect it's deserved with a good send-off and a good relaunch. You know, I guess when you, when you launch a boat, there's a, it's a very um, important occasion, but we're kind of relaunching this ship on a new voyage. You know, Plymouth's got to really use this building as a, a platform to market itself around the world because um, it's a totally unique building.